kahit lawyer ka pa, doktor ka pa, or ano pa yung natapos mo, once when you get married to a Turkish guy, pahihintuin ka talaga niya. As much as possible, hanggat magjowa pa lang kayo, hindi nila yung sinasabi sa magulang nila kasi pwede mo lang suotin yung mga ganong damit sa loob ng bahay. Ganong damit is for your husband eyes only. They are too strict about the clothes. channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified if i have new video no forcing this video is i'm just going to give you an ideas para and of course if you haven't yet um follow on my instagram i have instagram i'll be putting my instagram here Puro instagram <laughs> I'll be putting my Instagram here and today is February 9, 2017. As you guys can see on the title below, this video is about on how to get a decent man on dating site. Because I know a lot of Filipina or most of Filipina or some of the Filipinas are are you know having a dream to met a foreigner guys that doesn't mean na nag-work sa akin yung dating site eh mag-work din sa yo pero hindi ko rin sinasabi na hindi mag-work sa yo and para sa mga viewers ko diyan na 18 pa baba please ask for a guidance before watching this because you know much it's much better na rin na may guidance tayo from our parents habang manood tayo ng mga video na related sa mga dating site. Dating site, maraming mga scammer dyan, bastos, or whatever, name it. Nandyan na lahat ng iba't ibang tao, makikilala mo sila dyan. So, we have to be careful. Lagi ko na sinasabi sa mga tips ko, bago kayo mag-sign up, or bago kayo, hindi man lang sa sign up, or bago kayo may gawing hakbang, make sure na sabihin nyo muna to kay Lord. Ipag-pray nyo muna to kay Lord. Manghingi kayo ng guidance. As for a guidance na, Lord, mag-sign up ako sa dating site, kay na kung bahala. As for guidance, kasi pag meron kayong guidance from Him, from God, everything will go smooth talaga. So, ayun ang unang-unang lagi nyo pong gawin. And ayun yung lagi ko talaga sinasabi kasi tested and proven ko na po talaga yan. Every time na ako nagdadasal, every time na sa kanya ko unang sinasabi yung mga plano ko or yung mga hakbang na gagawin ko, talagang lahat, lahat, walang palyal, walagang it happens talaga na walang kapalpakan. Pero pag hindi ko sa kanya sinasabi, yung may mga may mga hakbang ako na hindi ko sa kanya sinasabi, laging may mga, alam mo yun, may obstacle ako na dadaanan. So, ayun lang yung lagi kong payo sa inyo. Bago kayo gumawa ng hakbang or bago kayo mag-sign up sa dating site, make sure na magdasal kayo. Yung sa puso nyo is ayun talaga na kung bakit ka nasa dating site kasi you are looking for a decent man, you are looking for your loved ones, hindi for fun. Or kung for fun, it's up to you. Um, ibang usapan na yun kasi these tips are for those who are really looking for a decent man. These ideas are based on my experience and as you guys can see, nasabi ko na if you haven't watched my videos about how I met my Turkish husband, I'm gonna put the link here. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. The first one is profile photo. Siyempre, pag, pag nag-sign ka ng dating site, you have to upload your own photo. When I say own photo, don't upload photo na super edited. You pwedeng edited, pero yung mga not so edited talaga. Hindi yung mag upload ka ng photo na malayo sa kulay mo. For example, your morena, tapos yung in-upload mong picture sa dating site, eh, sobrang puti. Huwag ganon. Malapit lang sa kulay mo or sa itsura mo. Kasi mahirap na guys, baka pag nag-upload ka ng napakaputing photo mo, tapos pag namit mo yung guy, diba, masyashock na lang sa'yo, oh my goodness, I saw your white. Bakit ang itim mo, diba, parang mag magugulat. Huwag <laughs> mong gulatin yung kachat mo. <laughs> The second one is also about photo, but when you upload profile photo, make it sure na it's not whole body. Wag din yung pang ID lang ha, yung mga half body lang. Why you shouldn't upload a whole body photo for your profile photo. It's because let them wonder what your body looks like. The third one is your name. Siyempre, pag magsa-sign up kasi sa dating site, maglalagay ka dyan ng surname or your name. Please never ever put your surname on the dating site. Kasi we don't know kung sino yung makikilala natin dyan. Hindi natin alam kung sino yung makakasalamuha natin dyan. Much better na yung mag maging maingat tayo. 
much better pa yung nickname kesa sa first name mo. You don't ever put your real name on your dating site. The third one is your birthday. Never ever put your birthday or never ever give your birthdays to anyone. Pag mag-a-apply ka ng bank account or when you open an account for like email or Facebook or kahit ano pa yan, di ba tinatang dyan yung birthday? Birthday is one of the important infos kung sino ka. So, never ever give your birthdays or your never ever never ever give your birthday or put your birthdays on your dating site. You can put your um, birth year or birth month, that's enough. But your exact birth date, never ever. Mas mabuti na yung nag-iingat tayo, di ba? The next one is your description. Sa dating site, guys, when you open a dating site, you, you have to put your description. When I say description, ayun yung, yung about yourself. You, you can tell your hobbies there like, I love, I love going to the gym, I love swimming, I love reading, I love this and that. But make it sure na it's real, na totoo yun, na hindi ka nagpapanggap lang na para magustuhan ka ng ng ibang guy. So, make it sure na ikaw talaga yung ilalagay mo doon. And yung description is more about like hobbies or what do you love or what do you do for living. The next one is be decent. Kung gusto mong makahanap ng seryosong lalaki, make sure na decente ka. In special kay every woman is special. Me, ikaw na nanonood, you are special. Wala man nagsasabi sa inyan, pero you are special. Don't just show your body. Don't just send nude. Be decent. Sa dating site, karamihan ng lalaki dyan is flowery word. When I say flowery word, sila yung mga lalaking sasabihan ka ng you are so beautiful. Yung kukuhanin yung loob mo hanggat sa bumigay ka na. Pag bumigay ka na, pag na-inlove ka na, na mag-aas na yan ng for more. Na for example, can you show me your this? Can you show me your that? Yung mga ganun, never ever show that to a guy on dating site. Why? Because you are special. Huwag mong ibaba yung level mo. Na baka may mag-chat sa'yo na I will send you money but, but show your ganito. No. Huwag kang maniwala sa mga ganun. May mga lalaki na kayang magbigay sa'yo ng pera pero walang kapalit. Trust me, may mga ganyan lalaki. And marami akong na-meet ng mga ganyan. Alam nyo ba guys, sa dating site, um, I forgot to tell this on my dating site experience, pero may mga guy talaga actually na nagsasend sa akin ng money ng walang kapalit. Usap lang talaga. It's because they were like, hindi naman sa pagmamayabang, pero they were like, um, mesmerized. I, I don't know the other words for mesmerized. Parang ano lang sila na nagulat lang sila sa akin. I'm different. Parang ganun. So, be different. Huwag kang mabilis mahulog sa mga patibong nila. If you only want to find a decent guy. Pero kung ano ka lang, kung, kung you just want to have fun, or you, then you can do. It's up to you pa rin. Ikaw pa rin. It's just my idea kung paano maka, makakuha ng decent guy. And the next one is, if you want to find a decent guy on internet, never ever ask for money slash wag kang mag-sign up sa dating site kung ang dahilan mo lang eh para magkapera ka. No, it's not a job. Actually, it's not a job. Pupunta ka ng dating site para ka magkapera. No, no you are in dating site because you want to find your love. Kung gusto mong makahanap ng matinong lalaki, make sure na matino ka din. Kasi walang matinong tao na pupunta ng dating site tapos para lang maghingi ng pera. Walang ganun. Kung meron man, ayun yung mga ano lang. Ayun yung mga hindi talaga sila naghahanap ng mga true love. May mga kusa talagang foreign na magbibigay sa inyo. Siyempre, pag nagkusa sila, siyempre, huwag mo na tanggihan yun, besh. Pera na yun, besh. <laughs> Tanggapin mo na. Pero wag na wag ka lang manghihingi. For example, kung nag-uusap na kayo and you're committed to each other na, make sure na tanggalin mo na yung dating site. Umalis ka na sa dating site. Don't cheat. Never ever cheat. Huwag kang manloloko, guys. Those are the tips on how to, to find a decent man on dating site. I hope itong video ay nakatulong sa inyo. Huwag kayong mawawalan ng pag-asa kung hindi pa kayo nakakahanap. Malay nyo, hindi pa pinapanganak yung foreigner na para sa inyo. Charot! <laughs> guys, maniwala ba kayo sa akin? I started I started signing up on dating site when I was 18. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ilang taon ko ba nakilala yung asawa ko? After 6 years, guys, 6 years, 6 years na on and off ako sa dating site, tsaka ko lang na, nakilala yung lalaking para talaga sa akin. Yung lalaking pinagdasal ko talaga. Huwag kayong mawawalan ng pag-asa. Just keep on moving, moving, moving. The small step is still a progress. 
Just keep on praying. Have faith always. Ang gandito na lang po. Um, see you on my next vlog. And please don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below any suggestion, any opinion. But please don't be rude. Tao lang din po ako nasasaktan. See you guys on my next vlog. Bye!